Hello friends, today I have come with a new topic that is microprocessor detective. I think it's very important topic before you start microprocessor subject. So the first data type is uh, unsigned and uh, signed binary integers and then BCD that is binary coded decimal numbers. Now ask you to and floating point numbers. So uh, firstly I will discuss the unsigned and signed binary integers. So unsigned and signed uh, binary integers are what? An unsigned binary integer has no arithmetic sign. Like uh, example of unsigned binary integers is memory address. A signed integer is represented in true form for a positive number. Look, you have to understand this. That signed integer is represented in true form or for a positive number. Like... Sign integer can be both like a positive number and a negative number also. So it's in true form like for positive number like it's in simple form. But when it is a negative number you have to do the two scope That is the thing. And uh, BCD that is binary coded decimal numbers. Uh, microprocessor stores the BCD numbers in two forms like one is unpacked and one is packed so when it is unpacked it uh, represents the each BCD digit like if it is like 45 whole 10 45 whole to the power 10 then uh, the 4 if you like uh, convert that 4 into binary like four digits are there and also the five if you convert the five into binary so it's actually uh, that 45 is being a one byte in the unpacked but uh, the packed bcd number represents two bcd digits in a byte Sorry, I have uh, told you a wrong thing. I want to correct that. The unpacked BCD number represents each BCD digit as a byte. Means like the 45. Okay. So the 4, you are converting that 4 into like binary digits. Like uh, what will be the binary of the 4 and what will be the binary of the 5? okay those uh, like what will be the binary of the 4 that 4 will be a 1 byte and 5 will be a 1 byte also so and what is the benefit of packed bcd number the packed bcd number is like you are uh, converting that 45 into binary and that is the byte and ASCII two numbers are like this code represents uh, alpha, alpha, okay, alpha numeric in a microprocessor's memory. It also represents the special symbols. So I'm not going to talk about this a lot. Um, I like to uh, talk about uh, floating point numbers. So floating point numbers actually contains three components that is sine, exponent, and mantissa. Like uh, minus 2.5 into 10 inverse 2. Uh, the sign is uh, here you can see that is negative and exponent is minus 2 and math is size like 2.5. Okay. And uh, what you have to know here is yes, most significant bit in uh, sign bit which is like 0 for positive number and 1 for the negative number. And uh, the next, uh, so 1 bit has gone okay from the 32 bit uh, you have to know that floating point number has to be converted I mean, it has to be uh, in 32 bit so one bit for the sign bit and next eight bits is uh, for bias exponent like you can see that here is the exponent is 2 okay minus 2 so you have to add 
like 127 whole 10 with that okay I will show you a math so you can understand and the remaining 23 bit represents the fractional part of the number so this is the math I want to show you like okay this is the microprocessor uh, data byte data type so you can see here the math like one zero first what we are doing convert that given number to the binary like we have to convert this 10 into the binary then what you have to do is like you have to convert this first in this format then uh, putting uh, the decimal point afterward bring a decimal to the right of the first one so it became like this so the exponent is 3 and sign is like positive as sign is positive for this we have to give s is equals to 0 and here you can see the biasing exponent what I'm uh, what I was telling like you have to add this thing and you're getting this then you have to convert this into the binary again after that the next 23 bit represents the fractional part and that is 23 bit fraction you have to uh, this is the fraction part like 0 1 0 so you have to just put it in the fractional thing like this so this is the like sine bit and this is bias exponent what I have found here and this is the fractional curve thank you for watching this video and uh, if you like my video please subscribe